Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about the Inflation Reduction Act scam. This is an absolute scam. It has nothing to do with reducing inflation. Uh, quite the opposite. Um, so let's go ahead and first start with a ridiculous statement from our president. He says, my statement on the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. Um, <laughs> this afternoon, I spoke with Senator Schumer and Manchin and offered my support for the agreement they've reached on a bill to fight inflation and lower costs for American families. So that's what they are alleging is going to happen with this bill. And if you saw the previous video I did um, on the, on the, ne the coming neo-feudal age, you'll know that the COVID stimulus bills did not go to regular people. The trillions of dollars that was spent for COVID stimulus, 95 to 98% of that went to big businesses and the already affluent very little went to actual regular people. So this is going to be the same thing. Um, you know, it's just insane. So um, let's talk about what's actually in the bill then, because this is obviously not an accurate uh, statement there. It's like this. Haha, <laughs> 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 money printer go burr. Exactly. That's how these people think. You know, it, it's just like stunning. Um, yeah. So Tom Elliott here says, so amidst the worst inflation crisis in a hundred years, Congress responds by organizing $750 billion in new spending. We are so, so effed. <laughs> exactly. And that is in response to uh, this tweet from Sahil Kapoor saying, news, Joe Manchin agrees to a deal with the devil. I mean, Chuck Schumer on a major health, climate, and tax bill. A major breakthrough for Democrats and pieces of Biden's agenda that seem to be dead. Aiming for Senate consideration next week. Details. And so that's an NBC uh, article, which of course is not going to be accurate at all. Um, I have here the United States Congress Joint Economic Committee, the economics of inflation and the risks of ballooning government spending. This is from October of 2021, um, when once again, you had the, the lockdowns and massive government spending. And this was the warning, right? The, the economics of inflation and the risks of ballooning government spending. So this was in October of 2021. They say prices today are rising at their fastest pace in decades. And American concern about inflation is growing. While some amount of inflation can be the result of a healthy growing economy, rapid sustained inflation harms American families by wiping out their wage gains and eroding savings. Inflation can also rock consumer confidence, which hurts U.S. businesses endeavoring to rebuild after the pandemic recession. Considerable debate exists over whether recent inflation is transitory or if it is a more concerning type of systemic inflation. On the one hand, inflation might be a temporary phenomenon caused by the reopening of the global economy. The U.S. is ahead of many other nations in its recovery, and supply chains are taking time to recover from over a year of sustained disruptions. On the other hand, rising inflation may be the direct result of government stimulus, which significantly increased household income and demand at a time when labor markets and other business functions remain below their pre-pandemic strengths. After surveying the evidence, this paper concludes that rising prices are likely a mix of transitory inflation and more lasting inflation caused by government stimulus. So what this is saying is that they have concluded that these stimulus bills, massive government spending, contributed to inflation. So this new bill, the Inflation Reduction Act, is the same thing. 
massive stimulus in government spending, which we can project and predict, will have the same effect. It will cause more inflation. While increased costs for American producers will likely subside after global supply chains adjust, demand-driven inflation may be exacerbated at even further, if government stimulus continues to boost household income before the labor market recovers, tax increases that further constrain business activity could also make inflation worse. And so there's a whole thing here that you can read, and I will have all of this linked uh, in the video description. But let's just look at what's in this bill, right? Uh, why are we saying that this is going to cause inflation? Well, I'll tell you. While the economy is in the midst of a recession and inflation is at a 40-year high, Senate Democrats are planning to raise taxes and double down on their failing policy agenda. Let's take a look at why this big bad bill is bad for America, which it is. <laughs> Um, the bill includes over $400 billion in spending for left-wing priorities and $700 billion in tax hikes. This package will only worsen matters. And they have to know that. Uh, Senator Sinema of Arizona is all that stands against this bill. Senator Sinema has opposed spending and tax hikes in the past, and it is imperative that she does so now. What are the Democrats hiding from you in the bill? $313 billion corporate tax hike that will be passed on to American families. Well, what's going to happen is when you raise taxes on corporations, they're going to start laying off their employees. So that is going to directly affect American families. $124 billion for IRS bureaucrats to audit each and every move of the middle class Americans. Yeah, they want to hire... 87,000 new IRS agents. How does that help reduce inflation, you might ask? Well, the answer is it does not. $288 billion in socialized prescription drug pricing that will make life-saving medicine more scarce and will stifle innovation because you can't make money doing this stuff so no one's going to be interested in doing it. $369 billion in total spending for Green New Deal priorities. And it's as absurd as you think it is, talking about monitoring cattle farts and things like that. Uh, reckless spending habits in big government policies are directly responsible for the dire economic situation families find themselves in. This bill will obliterate an already failing economy and it will give big government more power over each of us. Absolutely true. And so, uh, yes, um, they're saying cinema has the ability to say no. I don't know if she will, but she should. And this is the link here breaking down everything in here. It's just insanity. Democrats claim their package will bolster domestic energy production, but what the bill really does is supply hundreds of billions of dollars in tax credits and subsidies for green energy. So giving rich people a deal for their Teslas which regular people cannot afford. Build Back Better 2.0 is a grab bag of green corporate welfare and left-wing priorities such as environmental and climate justice. Yeah, $60 billion is so-called environmental justice grant subsidies and tax credits. How does that stop inflation? $20 billion for climate smart agriculture. $20 billion in loans to build new clean vehicle manufacturing facilities. $30 billion in tax credits for the production of electric vehicles, solar panels, and wind turbines. Could you imagine? $70 billion extending Obamacare subsidies while at the same time implementing Medicare price negotiation. $288 billion in socialized prescription drug pricing. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Greenlit by misguided passage of the Chips Plus Act, this latest attempt to ram through Biden's failed policy agenda without a single Republican vote has disaster written all over it. Yeah, uh, $313 billion corporate tax hike, uh, $224 billion for IRS bureaucrats, $14 billion increase on capital gains taxes that will discourage investment. Yes, exactly. 
won paper Democrats' Inflation and Recession Act makes Biden's cruel economy even worse. This is from today. Uh, hundreds of billions in wasteful inflationary spending won't reduce the deficit. Rather than reduce inflation, it puts inflation on steroids. Democrats' $2 trillion spending already crushed American families with painful price increases. The Penn Wharton budget model finds that, despite its misleading title, the new Schumer Mansion tax hikes do not reduce inflation. It may even increase it in the short term. The National Taxpayers Union finds net deficit effects are minimal in the early years when CBO and consumers expect inflation to be the highest. Spikes drug costs during a recession kills new cures. Democrat socialist drug price setting scheme will likely cause drug prices to increase for patients over the next few years, all while killing finding cures from ever coming to market. Expensive, wasteful green welfare. Yes, uh, Green New Deal tax credits uh, and Solyndra style loan guarantees. $250 billion will worsen our inflation problem on top of government checks to subsidize luxury electronic vehicles for the wealthy. Handouts to the wealthy, tens of billions of dollars in Obamacare subsidies will flow to the well off. Budgeting gimmicks won't lower prices or the cost of health care. With uh, when made permanent, Obamacare bailouts will cost $248 billion, four times higher than what Democrats' bill admits. Meanwhile, Obamacare has already resulted in higher health care prices and 17% health insurance inflation. Exactly. If you can even afford insurance. Most people don't have insurance anymore. To raise, quote unquote, $122 billion, Democrats again delay a rule that was never implemented and claim IRS enforcement will haul in revenue. Washington price controls kill new cures and raise drug prices. Yes, the socialist drug pricing scheme will kill up to 342 cures, according to a study by the University of Chicago. That means patients suffering from Alzheimer's and other diseases could be left without a cure. Democrats send 87,000 new IRS agents after you and your family-owned businesses. You are the IRS target, not big business, not the wealthy. Audits will rise for all individuals by more than $1.2 million per year, nearly half would be of Americans making $75,000 per year or less. Low-income taxpayers making up to $25,000 per year would also see more audits. Democrats' IRS bank surveillance comes next. Supercharging the IRS will lay the groundwork for monitoring the monitoring the Biden administration has pledged to impose. With their American energy tax and their Made in America tax, Democrats seed energy production to Saudi Arabia and manufacturing to China. Exactly. Um, families will pay these taxes in the form of higher gas prices, larger heating bills, and higher consumer prices. Made in America tax provides car uh, carve-outs to politically connected companies while everyone else loses. Democrats' new taxes exclude Green New Deal tax credits and the new cash payable chips credit. Meanwhile, nonpartisan analysis shows that American manufacturers would pay 50% of the Made in America tax. While trying to keep jobs during a recession, about 200 large companies will have to pay these new taxes and many of them will have to pay it this year. The nonpartisan Joint Committee on Taxation says, 25% of the burden of Democrats' uh, tax hikes will be borne by workers and slashed wages. 100%. Schumer Mansion deal is a tax increase on every American. That's exactly what it is. And um, I think we could play this little clip here. Uh, this is from one of the senators of West Virginia. And I think that this is a really good point she makes here. So let's go ahead and... Play it. Well, I mean, to me, it's just inexplicable that we would be moving forward with a tax and spending bill in the face of what we're seeing is a recession. I mean, I think that we learned last year that when they went this route and spent two two uh, trillion dollars on a, a stimulus package, that we saw that contributed two to four points to inflation. This is going to do the exact same thing. It's gasoline on the fire. It's more government spending. It's taxes. It will hit everybody. And uh, I, I'm just really disappointed that this is the direction that uh, they decided to go. Well, I mean, yes, exactly. I think we're all disappointed that this is the direction they decided to go, but should not be surprised. 
Literally, literally, this is from Occupy the Fed movement. Literally, 49.9% of the Inflation Reduction Act, $369 billion, is for climate change fighting strategies like massive subsidies for electric vehicles. American families are literally struggling to afford basic necessities, and Congress wants to make Teslas cheaper for rich people. This is where we pulled the figures in case you want to see for yourself. Looks consistent with other reporting and yes, Tesla's included. This is from marketwatch.com. And just in case you wanted proof positive that the Inflation Reduction Act has absolutely nothing to do with reducing inflation, see below tweet recommending name change six months ago. As we've said before, this isn't red versus blue. It is class warfare. Here is... Dan DeBreckelier, back in February, saying, I'm begging Democrats to just name the revised spending bill the Inflation Reduction Act instead of whatever alliteration they are concocting. So let's just admit, <laughs> let's just admit that it's BS. All right, so as you can see, this is not going to reduce inflation whatsoever. This is a scam, once again, as all of these bills are designed to profit the already incredibly wealthy and probably companies that these politicians are already invested in. We saw that during COVID stimulus spending. We saw companies connected to politicians doing well, and that increased the stock portfolio of people like Nancy Pelosi and others who are profiting off of the backs of regular people. Um, there really needs to be some kind of uh, insider trading investigations conducted on their them and their families. It's never going to happen, though. And also, um, we see the same thing with enforcing antitrust laws against these multinational, massive corporate monopolies. We have the laws on the books. They just don't use them. And that is the problem when we talk about how do we rein in these corporations? Uh, what do we do? What if we had a law like, and that's the problem, like obviously legislation isn't going to fix this because we have laws already on the books for uh, busting up uh, monopolies, but they don't, they're not enforced because they're, the politicians are all in bed with these people. And that's a real shame. Um, so anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the so-called Inflation Reduction Act of 2020. Do you think it's a scam? Do you think it's going to pass? And if so, uh, how how much worse do you think that this is going to make things when they're already very, very bad? And on a final note to people who are listening, make sure that you and your families are doing everything you can to prepare for what is coming. Make sure that you have um, at least six months worth of savings. Make sure that you have food and water. Make sure that you are prepared and um, ready to go in the event that shit hits the fan, which it probably is going to happen, and we see a global economic collapse. You want to make sure your families and yourself are safe and protected and are prepared for what is coming. So let me know your thoughts in the video below. Um, do me a favor if you don't mind. Uh, hit the like button, leave a comment. It helps in the algorithm. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.